Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I have a video that I shared over at the Waffle Flower Crafts channel. So in this video I'm going to add some details in a very easy way using a die. But first I'm going to start by stamping out a background and I'm using the Morning Love stamp set. And this is kind of based on like a letter press sort of theme. It's not a letter press technique. It's just that, I don't know if you've seen them, but the letterpress can often sort of have a real kind of simplistic look about it. And often it's sort of a one tone color and lots of white space. So that's what, when I saw this, these florals that are in the Morning Love stamp set, I thought they just really lent themselves perfectly to the letterpress technique. So I've chosen one of the images and I'm standing it, stamping it repeatedly over a panel that's cut the same size as my card front. And I'm using the Daydreaming ink, which is a really, really pretty blue. And when I'm stamping out a whole panel like this, what I like to do is sort of start with my main image and I'm building, I built one image up and then I started, as I'm going down the card, you'll notice that I started stamping the top of the image first and working down but as I'm building up the card I start with the base image so the pot then the leaves and then the flowers and that way I know my spacing is going to work now it isn't in any set pattern here it's just me playing with the stamps and then making sure that I stamp some of the images off the edges of the cardstock as well as fill in the gaps with you know what looks like the edge of the image as well has some really pretty images in it this stamp set now this is how I'm going to add my detail to the panel I've got it's called the stitched layers it's a die set and this is a really fabulous set because what it does it actually has a cutting line in the center of each of the rectangles but around each side of that is um, it's almost like a diagonal pattern and it looks amazing so I'm actually going to cut this out but keep both the pieces because I'm going to recess the centerpiece just to add some detail to what is basically my own design paper here so look at that that pattern looks amazing so it's got the stitched edge on the inside and then this diagonal edge on the outside and there's quite a few different sizes of this rectangle within the set my sentiment today comes from Little Bakers and I just love this font, it's really beautiful. And I've just stamped it with my Misty just in case I needed to stamp it out a second time and using some nice bold black ink. And I did grab one of the hearts out of the Morning Love set as well. I have stamped a rabbit from, it's from the Books and Coffee stamp set and this is one of the um, so it sort of goes off the edge you don't actually get the whole image so you'll notice when I die cut it in a minute how this works but I did initially come in with my Copic markers but didn't like the way that it was coloring up and you know rather than give up or you know start again I did try using my zero colorless blender which is really wet by the way because I just refilled it <laughs> I came back in with some Prismacolor pencils that were a similar similar sort of matching color and, and blended out the edges that way and that seemed to work fine I could have easily stamped the image again and started coloring it wasn't very complicated but I hate to waste and I hate to start again <laughs> And the grey that I used, I think it's called Putty Beige. It's almost like a, um, a really pale, a pale brown grey. These critters from Waffle Flower Crafts are so cute and really easy to colour too. So this is the matching dye that I was talking about and it doesn't cut the whole image out because it is kind of meant to be one of those border images. So I'll just run that through my die cutting machine it's um, just on the normal setting for a thin die and then you can see like it just cuts out that portion of the bunny but the best thing about it is it actually cuts out the hand as well so you'll see in the photos at the end how I've got his hand 
holding on to the frame so cute all right to get my center piece just perfect I'm holding the outside piece in place on the front of my top fold card I'd already added some ATG adhesive to that and then I've adhered that down and then I've also added some adhesive to the front portion of my bunny that's going to be sticking because I want this piece this outside border to be actually popped up with some fun foam so I've used some tape again added the fun foam all the way around the border and then also behind the bunny because I want to make sure that that doesn't get bent over in the post as well and then all I did was add some score tape to the back of the fun foam and that way I know that it's all going to hold nice and strong on the card front and that's my finished card for today thanks for joining me I'll put all the links below till next time Happy paper crafting. Bye.